Hey guys, welcome to Next on Mining India and what an amazing time, you know, time has changed so fast. We started, uh, you know, some time back and now here we are with Bitmain, the, which is one of the biggest sponsors for this whole conference. Oh, so yes. uh, here we have uh, Justin, who is taking care of international sales of Bitmain. So welcome to the channel, Justin. Hi, thank you so much. So, uh, how does it feel working for Bitmain? Well, I've been working for Bitmain for around five years now. Like, it's been an amazing journey. Like, you know, as the crypto market improves and this is a... Uh, Bear markets and bull markets, it's always very interesting to see how the entire industry is developed. Yeah. You know, like when I first started, like, uh, you no, know, events didn't look like this, you know. Yes. And now you can see like how much, uh, how much it's grown in the past few years and how much it's integrated globally. But, so, yeah. you know, like being in Bitmain, you get to see everything change is just like a fantastic thing. I think it must be a very proud feeling working for the number one ASIC miner supplier in the world. Bitmain number one supplier in the world, right? For ASIC hardware. Well, it's of course. Very yeah. proud feeling, I believe. You know, like working for one of the top leading companies in the blockchain industry. Like, you know, being able to know that you provide like leading products of uh, power efficiency for mining Bitcoin and other cryptocurrencies. It's really something uh, you could be proud of. And, yeah. you know, just to see like the different products uh, that we offer. Like we could, we do like the product development, all these R&D. Uh, developments in the industry, so we really yeah. push out the best products for Yeah, I can see with the latest E9 Pro, you have pushed the boundaries of uh, ETH hash algorithm, e ETC hash algorithm, 3000 mega hash plus. Yeah. Do you have one of these E9 Pros here with you? Yeah, we, we actually have it in display. Is it in one of these? Yeah, it's in one of the boxes. Wow. Yeah. So, but we're displaying like several models yeah. around here. And what are these miners? Uh, so, over here we have, uh, this is our top leading uh, air cooling yeah, miner. XP, yes. And miner S19 XP. Yes. And right over here, we have uh, a miner S19 XP Hydro. Wow. Okay. So uh, what do you think? How is the transitioning going from air cooling to hydro cooling? It must be a big process and transition, you know, for a normal miner. Imagining, you know, I'm mining on air cooling and then, you know, they have to transition to water cooling. It is happening slowly, is it? Yeah. So to be honest with you, we started promoting our hydro products like uh, early last year. Definitely. Yes. So, um, I, don't, I don't think you see the video here, but this is how the hydro cooling container oh, looks Oh, this is like. the container box in which we uh, put the hydro miners, right? Yeah. yeah, so... This is HK3? This is HK3. Wow. So, we've populated with this miner over here. Okay. So, for your question about transitioning, right? Yes. So, I think we will always have customers that use like air cooling and hydro cooling. But for, from Bitmain, our perspective, we see that hydro is the future of mine. Definitely. Yeah, because of course, hydro mining... You know, like for air cooling, you have these problems for like dust, uh, corrosion, or environmental yes, uh, factors yes, affecting the miners. Yes. When you have hydro cooling, number one, you don't have those things affecting the miners anymore. Uh, the uptime of these miners are almost up to 100 yes. percent, which is amazing for miners. You know, like miners always complain, like, "Oh, you have a machine down," then you're of course losing money, losing opportunity. So time is always money for mining. Oh yeah. So with this product, you you don't have any of those problems, and uh, you know. It's just really a dream. Yeah. I've interviewed so much people from the US, they just love it. So this is a good thing to know. So this has, uh, from your analysis, this has a much higher uptime compared to an air-cooled machine, right? The hydro machines have higher uptime. Generally, they have a higher uptime because uh, they have less factors affecting the yes. miner. But of course, like I'm not saying like air-cooling is bad. Yes. Air-cooling is still very They're still my favorite, you know. Yeah. XP, yeah. anything, like any S19 is still my favorite. 110 and now there's the king of all air-cooled. 140, yeah. 140, right? Yeah, so the wow. thing with air cooling, you know, of course, when you build like data centers or your operations, you always have to get very well. Yes. So if all these problems for dust, then you won't have any problems to stop. Yes. Yeah. Wow. And uh, what more can we expect from Bitmain? Uh, can we get a glimpse or maybe that is a surprise for the future? Well, that's uh, that's why you guys got to just uh, keep following Bitmain. <laughs> yes, you know, guys. And, you know, you follow your channel as well. So, you yes, know. <laughs> you, you can def definitely be subscribed to our channel to get the latest updates. And, you know, it is such an amazing feeling talking with uh, officials from Bitmain, Justin over here, who is taking care of international business for Bitmain. And he has been so kind to us, giving his time and information and his views on these miners. But thank you so much, Justin. Thank and, you, you very know, much. We, look, we are looking forward to uh, being, uh, you know, a bigger customer for Bitmain in the future. All right. My pleasure. Thank, thank you, you so much. Thank you, everyone.